Hello! Oh, wow, I really need to get my roots touched up, don't I? Oh well. So I, uh, I didn't like how my hair looked, so I put the hat on. I hope you don't mind. I know it's rude to wear hats inside, but, you know, when, when my hair looked that weird, just kind of, I want to wear that, I want to wear the hat. Anyway, um, yeah, you, you guys saw that, that, that word count. I don't know why it's to the right or left for you guys. Uh, but yeah, 13,709. I, I broke it. I, I got past the curse. I don't know what happened. I just felt really motivated to write. I guess I'm guessing the vlog helps because I've been feeling really creative, a lot more creative since I've been doing it, even if I haven't been doing it as productive. But yeah, that's like more than 2,500 words written in about an hour and a half. Sorry, I had food, um, spicy food. <laughs> Chipotle, I got one of those, uh, the bowls. I like, I like the bowls, they're nice. And I, I, I eat less food, which is nice because I have a habit of eating all of the food. <laughs> I know I'm scrawny, but that's just because my metabolism is, is insane. But yeah, I broke it. Um, it wasn't a fun experience, though. Not because not it was struggling. Actually, it was really easy. I just started writing. I don't know what happened. Uh, it was the subject matter that I wrote. Um, <clears throat> I know a lot of people like feel terrible when they write bad things, but just like, uh, I always feel awful when I put my characters through hardship. I mean, you need to, because that's what makes for a good story. You know, if the story were just, here's a story of nothing ever going wrong, and you're not making a meta commentary on society, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a boring story. But yeah, so putting characters through hardship is not something that I uh, I enjoy doing, but it's something that I enjoy having to do. You know, um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm just I'm happy, and it's really good. It just makes me makes me feel so happy. I actually had another thing recorded last night, but it was really last minute, really badly done. It was about context, so I think I'll elaborate. Uh, so as I've said, work is slow, and I've had it confirmed that if it stays slow for like another month and a half, so I'm safe for a month and a half, uh, I'm the first in the list to be laid off because I'm the newest guy in the department, which is lovely, but I'm not focusing on that right now. Um, the context that I, the, the reason I was going to do a video about context, because we were told that second shift is not working Friday, which is kind of scary in that context. What we weren't told initially is that second shift is working, not working Friday, because it's Good Friday. They were just reminding us, oh, hey, by the way, we have Good Friday off. Um, but we weren't told that. We were just told that they were called into the office and told to not come in Friday. We weren't told that they were reminded that Good Friday was here because no one keeps track of Easter at my company, I guess. My, my manager does. But yeah, and it's not a holiday I celebrate, so I'm always blindsided by it personally. But um, yeah, I don't know, I'm, just, I'm just staring at the, the word count and I'm just, I'm so happy. I'm 48 out of 48. Now page count doesn't matter as much. It is currently, you know, it is word count that matters more. But page count is a good indicator. If, you're, if you write consistently, you can use page count to kind of determine how you're doing at a, at a at smaller scale. At a sm because you get like a fraction versus just a general number, which is nice. But yeah, um, I write fairly consistently. I usually have about the same amount of words per page. And it's really, really cool to just be able to look and be like, yeah, yeah, I broke it. I broke the wall. And I, I intentionally stopped uh, before I wrote everything that I wanted to write today because I... Um, a lot of authors will say this, uh, and I think John Green said it, I'm pretty sure Stephen King has said it in an interview too, um, stop writing before you've written everything you want to write that day, because that way you're not just draining all your ideas. You, 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 have, you have an idea left over, or a few ideas left over to focus on and think on. So I'm about to tell the story of Alexander, my main character's first kiss, but there's context to that kiss that is um, really important to why it's not a good thing. Why, why, the, why the kiss is not a good thing. And I wrote right up until when that kiss is supposed to happen, but I didn't write the reaction of the kiss. I didn't write the actual instance of the kiss happening. I just wrote up to, and here is where our first kiss comes into play. And that's it. That, that was all I wrote. And um, the reason I did that is because now, um, passively, when, I'm, yeah, when I can think about it, I can think about it actively, I can think about it passively, mm, I'll just be generating more ideas of where to spring off of on that. So that's really good. Uh, I've been talking for four minutes. Wow, um, I might have a bit of, have it be a bit short for the video, but we'll see. But yeah, I don't know. It's just really good to it's really good to finally break through that wall after a few days of just struggling and really to be kind of yanking myself out of this creative slump. And I'm pretty sure you guys have helped with that. My shirt is kind of sliding. Sorry about that. But yeah, it's it's just it's really nice to to just be able to like look and be like, hey, look, guys, I'm making progress. It's really cool, and it's just oh, it's significant progress. It's not like a few hundred words. It's 2,500 words. That's that's not insignificant. That's that's important. That's good. And you guys helped, wh whether or not you realize you did, but you guys did. I mean it, and I'm grateful for you.
and thank you for subscribing. It's, it's, it means the world to me. My mouth is dry. I need a drink. Ah, there we go. Water. I'm trying and mostly failing to cut back and pop. But yeah. Um, okay. You know what? I think I've got to go pick up my roommate from work soon. I need to edit this video and get it on YouTube. So I think that's going to cover it for today. Um, context is important. Leave yourself with some ideas when you stop for the day. And thank you. Because without you guys, I don't know if I would have been able to break through this. Have a good one. And as always, I believe in you.